Hello friends, in this lecture we will continue with constraints and we will know about dimensional constraint. We will know how to insert dimensions into the sketches. So right now we are in the sketch mode. In this sketch mode, let's go to the rectangle tool. I go to this rectangle. So before going to this tool, we can see this window of sketch tool. In this sketch tool window, so let me place it. Pick this window, hold down the left click and drag it. I place it here. So in this window, we can find two options. One is geometric constraint and the second is dimensional constraint. Similarly, we can find these types of option in the bottom. We have geometric constraint and we have dimensional constraint. So when these options are not checked, right now we can see these options are not checked. So when I select them, they will turn into orange color. Similarly, this dimensional. So I right now we can see these two are turned on. So now I go to this rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like this. So I pick the first point and then pick the second point. So in this rectangle, we can see automatic constraints are applied. These constraints are applied because this option is checked. And similarly, software has inserted some random dimensions because this option is also checked. So if I pick this point, hold down the left click of the mouse, take the mouse to this point and then hold down the left click and try to drag the mouse. We can see the rectangle is still is horizontal and vertical. So now undo this option and then I make a uncheck on this option of geometric constraint and then make a uncheck on this dimensional constraint. And then I go to rectangle once again, pick this first point and pick the second point. And this time we can see automatic constraints has not been applied. There is no symbol of vertical and horizontal. So if I pick this point, hold down the left click and try to drag it. You can see we can rotate this. So this is automatic constraining. So we can also pick this point and try to drag it. So now I undo this option. And now we will know how to insert dimensions into the sketches. So I have this rectangle and I want to insert dimensions into this. So as we know rectangle is defined by this horizontal and vertical dimension width and height. So to insert the dimensions, we can go to this option of constraint. Click on this option of constraint. And now we have to select an element of which we want to do the dimension. So I pick this line, click this line and now we can see the dimension. So now we have to place it. When I drag the mouse up and down, we can see the arrow of dimensioning is changing. When I drag the mouse in left and right, we can see the location of value is changing. So in this way, by dragging the mouse, we can place this dimension. I place it. So this dimension 15.631 is the random dimension that is applied by the software. These types of dimensions are called weak dimensions. Once again, I go to this constraint option and now we can also insert this vertical. So pick this line and place the dimension. And again, it is a weak dimension because it is applied by the software. So if we want to change this dimension, we just have to make a double click on this. So make a double click. Another window will open. In this window, we have option of inserting the value. So suppose I insert this value 10 and then we have option of making it as a reference dimension. So when we select this as a reference, all the dimensions will be measured with respect to this. So the reference option is very helpful for the manufacturing purpose. So right now I am not making a check on this. And then we have option of more. So if I click on this more, it will show some more options like supporting element. Okay, so I am clicking on this less and then click OK. 
and now in this way we can see we have inserted the dimension and now this dimension has been turned into dark green we can see so this dark green means this is a strong dimension so now I make a double click on this horizontal dimension I insert this value 15 and then click OK and then click somewhere outside once again we can see this is a strong dimension so in this way we can insert the dimensions so now when I pick the point hold down the left click and pick this point we can see the value of these dimensions is not changing because we have not provided the length of other dimension so that is why all these lengths are changing but these two lengths are not changing so that is the difference between weak and strong dimension weak dimension tends to change but strong dimension does not okay so let's place it like this or we can make a undo on this undo this and then we can also insert the angular dimensions so I go to constraint and now suppose I want to select this dimension between this point and this point to insert this dimension hold down the control key from the keyboard select this point and then select this point and then place this dimension suppose I place it here and then pan it here like this in this way we can insert the inclined dimension okay so I undo this in the similar way we can also insert the angular dimensions to insert the angular dimension I draw a line so draw a line like this from this end point up to this end point and now I want to find out the angle between this line and this inclined line for this I go to constraint option hold down the control key select this first line and then select the second line and then we have to place this dimension place it and then make a double click on this if you want to change this value and then go to more option so in this more option it is showing supporting element so we can see it is supported by line 1 and then line 5 the status is showing that these lines are connected we can insert some name to this dimension and then we can also select from this option angular bisector so when I change this option we have sector 1 2 3 4 I select this sector 2 it will select the dimension for this sector similarly I can select sector 3 sector 4 according to our requirement right now I am taking sector 1 and then click OK so I select all this and then press the delete key I once again draw a circle like this pick a circle and draw it and now I want to measure this dimension so go to constraint pick this circle pick this perimeter of the circle and then place this dimension now circle can be represented either by diameter or by radius so make a double click on this dimension and then in this dialog window we have option for making it as a radius or diameter so I am specifying this by diameter insert this value 10 and then click OK similarly I draw another circle like this so now we have two circle let's pan this and then I want to find out the distance between their center so for this I go to constraint option hold down the control key because we are selecting more than one element so select the center and then select the second center and now we can place this dimension now what if we want to place this dimension either horizontally or vertically for this we have option so make a undo on this undo once again I go to constraint option and now select the center hold down the control key select the second center 
and then instead of placing this dimension make a right click here in this we have option of horizontal measure direction or vertical measure direction suppose i select this horizontal measure direction and place it now this dimension is measured horizontally in the similar way we can insert the vertical dimension so now we can make a change into this just make a double click insert this value 15 and press enter so in this way we can insert the dimensions into the sketches so this type of inserting a dimension is called manual dimensioning in CATIA we have one more option of dimensioning that is called automatic dimensioning so in the bottom side we we have discussed about these two options that is geometric constraint and then that is dimensional constraint so when i turn off this option we can see all the dimensions are hidden and when i make a check on this all the dimensions are showing so this option is used for hide and show similarly it is for geometric constraint it is used for hide and show the geometric constraint 